Hey guys, it's manager Kylie and in today's video I'm going to go through the rules of badminton. So today I'm going to go through the rules of badminton. This is a game that is played in two different forms. It's played one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two. -two. And today I'm going to go through some of the different rules of the game and how the game works. But if you guys are interested in more sports administration videos just like this, definitely subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload. I post a new video every single Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And I do have a playlist sharing the rules for many different sports. If you're interested in learning about that, I will have that linked at the end of this video. So like I said before, this is a game that is played one-on-one -on -one or 2v2, and the court size does differ a little bit depending on whether it's 1v1 or 2v2. For doubles, the court is 13.4 meters by 6.1 meters. It's a little bit smaller when you're playing 1v1. And the net for both is 1.55 meters high. And the game is played on a best two out of three basis. So first one to win, two sets wins. Sometimes it is played best three out of five, but usually it's best two out of three. Games are played to 21 and you do have to win by two. So if both teams have 20 points, somebody has to get to 22 to win. You do have to win by that two point margin. However, in the rare case that it is is tied 29-29 so you go all the way up from 21 and you keep it within two point margin. If it's tied 29-29 the first person to get to 30 does win automatically. The game just stops at 30 points. Now to start the game the game does start with a serve. The serve has to be served to specific locations on the court that are opposite from where you are. Um, I will put an, an image right now showing these are the locations that the serve has to go. It's opposite from where you are standing. And your contact for your serve must come from below the waist. You must make contact with the shuttlecock below your waist. And to score a point, you want the shuttlecock to land in on the opposing team side of the court. And if it does land on the line, that is also considered in. So anything on the line or inside the lines is considered in. Now your opponent is trying to do the opposite. They're trying to get the shuttlecock to land on inside your side of the court. And you are going to hit the shuttlecock back and forth at, in a rally. And first one to score a point in that rally gets the point. So whether that is something that actually lands in on the other side or somebody makes a mistake, there's a few different different ways that you can win a point. So if your opponent is to hit the shuttlecock out of bounds, then you get the point. You cannot hit the shuttlecock twice in succession or your opponent gets the point. You cannot touch the net at all with either your racket or your body. And if the shuttlecock touches the net and lands back on your side of the court, the other your opponent gets a point. And you cannot touch the shuttlecock with anything except for your racket. So if you do that, your opponent gets a point. The game is played similar to volleyball in if you win the point, you get the next serve. So if you continue to win points in a row, you continue to keep serve and keep control of the game. Now there's a few different ways that you can hit the shuttlecock with your racket. Your serves do have to come from below the waist, but there are a few ways when you're in a rally that you can hit the shuttlecock. So you can hit it with your forehand and that's when you just hit it with the same side of your hand. You can hit it with your backhand and that's when you switch swing across your body to hit it. You can also hit it with the side of the racket. That's called a slice. So if you just hit it with the outer edge of the racket, you can also do what's called a touch, which is just a light contact that barely gets it over the net so that it kind of falls on the other side of the net. Or you can do the complete opposite of that and do what's called a smash. And that's when you swing up and wind up above your head and take a lot of force onto your hit to hit the shuttlecock. Now there are a few other rules to the game. One of them being a fault. Anytime you do commit a fault, the point goes to your opponent as if they gain a Point, they get the next serve as well. And examples of these are reaching over the net, deliberately touching your opponent from the other side of the net. You pretty much have to stay on your side and follow the basic guidelines to continue the play of game. And then there's also a let, and this is when a point is replayed. So this is generally when something unexpected happens. If you're in the middle of a play and the shuttlecock breaks apart, that would cause a let. If there's some sort of issue, like your opponent's not ready when you serve, that may cause a let. Any sort of let does become a replay and the point's just replayed. Nobody gains that point and you just replay play that point till somebody gets a new point. So those are the basic rules of badminton. And if you're interested in learning the rules for any other sport, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I will have a playlist linked to the end with the rules for all the sports I've done. But if there's any sports I've missed that you would like to know the rules for, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you have any other questions or anything you'd like to see on my channel, also let me know those in the comments down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys next Wednesday.